Josiah, I stand here in front of you today to confidently declare that you are my closest friend and my deepest love. If you had told little me that I would be standing beside you at the altar in our early 20s, I probably wouldn't have believed you. And sometimes I still have to pinch myself to verify that this is real life. Josiah, you have loved me so well through so many stages of life from tag and ukulele in elementary school, through all of the fun and awkward stages of middle and high school, beyond the challenging and transformative years of college, amidst COVID and into a year of long distance as I started medical school. I know that for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, in times of abundance or scarcity, I will find joy and comfort by your side. Thank you. All right. You guys You have always been my person that I turn to in times of need. Even as young as sixth grade, I can remember you being an incredible listener and grounding me through God's love. You so clearly live out God's love through an inspiring gentleness and compassion. It has been my honor to witness you grow into the man of Christ that you are today. I will honor you in every way I can and constantly point you back to your identity in Christ and the desires he has for our life. I promise to remember the best of you when I see you at your worst and to help build you up when you feel knocked down. Today I publicly commit myself to lavishing you in love unconditionally for the rest of our days. I adore you, Josiah. So to you, Jenna, my fiance for only the next 10 minutes, my best friend, my love, I promise to be your ever obnoxious optimist. While I do promise to almost always find the silver lining in every scenario, I more importantly promise to remind us of God's faithfulness to us, whether it is a beautiful day like today or whether we have hit a new love. Not only do I promise to celebrate your joys with you, but I promise to mourn every loss alongside you as well. I will listen to you when you have the words to speak and sit in silence when you don't. And I promise I will always have a hug for you. I love all of you. I will love you in sickness and in health for rich or for poor as long as we both shall live. I promise. Allow me to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Josiah and Jenna McCracken.